We have talked many times on the channel about the possibility of some of the Knights of Ren coming from the sinister Imperial Inquisitors that fell under the guise of Lord Vader during the time of the Empire. Because of this, I figured it was time to take a more in-depth crack at the theory and try to piece some of the missing parts together to try and decipher maybe some of the origins of the Knights of Ren. To start, I feel it is important to begin with the one confirmed Knight of Ren we really know anything about, Kylo, specifically Kylo's admiration of Vader and his accomplishments in assisting ruling the Empire and more specifically than that, his skills as a force user and combatant. I can see some connection here between Kylo and the Inquisitors, specifically in meaning their admiration for Lord Vader, this trait some of the past Inquisitors, now Knights, would have common with Kylo. Some of the Inquisitors we know have directly trained under Vader and having the experience of training with an individual that Vader had a specific hand in teaching would be an opportunity I honestly don't see Kylo passing on. The reason for this being, Palpatine never wanted to fully train them in the dark side so that one day they may have the ability to band together and become a potential threat for him. For a little bit of out of universe explanation that could support this is that an unused concept art for The Force Awakens and specifically the Knights of Ren was used to make the fifth brother in the Rebels TV show Inquisitor, adding a bit of out of world explanation to this eerily similar origins of the two groups. After the collapse of the Empire, a mysterious group of Force wielders arose, seemingly out of thin air. This group was believed to be a collective of individuals with power in the dark side, but were somewhat unrefined and not deemed Sith Lords. The group was known as the Acolytes of the Beyond and sought out ancient relics known to be powerful in the Force, with great significance placed especially on items that Vader was involved with. It is my belief that the Inquisitors formed the Acolytes of the Beyond and were confused for some time on how to proceed after their leaders crumbled under the Rebellion and after the return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker. The Inquisitors then could have formed an order, the Acolytes of the Beyond, where they sought out relics and possibly even places powerful in the dark side for future guidance, in large part being unorganized and without aim due to the deaths of their leaders. This is where Snoke would most likely come in, not only taking the Empire for his own, but the Inquisitors, now the Acolytes as well. Recently, in Rebels, it was revealed that the Grand Inquisitor was once a Jedi Knight, more specifically a Jedi Temple Guard. It would be interesting if Snoke named the group the Knights of Ren as almost an insult to the old Jedi Knights. It would be great if the Inquisitors started as Jedi, and now they have fallen so far to become agents of the Dark Side, but Knights yet again. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think that the Knights of Ren could have formed from the Inquisitors who formed the Acolytes of the Beyond and then were found by Snoke and refined into the Knights of Ren? I'm really curious to hear what you think. Thank you as always so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, may the force be with you, and have a great day.